one of the elements that we built out, obviously the homepage is one of the places that we're trying to grab um, attention from our consumers and our, our customers. And, you know, Typically, what's on the homepage is that traditional large um, rotator or banner, uh, and I know that that is uh, where a lot of time and energy is spent, both on the agency side and the dealership side. But as the consumer changes and you know their attention span grows less and less, they're not really spending the time to flip through all of those slides. And what we're continuing to see, not only from our own data, but also some of those platforms that we partner with, their data as well is telling us that that, that traditional um, homepage slider does not perform and actually can hurt the overall user experience on the homepage. Um, what we want to do is take that information and really transform what we're providing as a tool through Retail Ready. So part of that, again, with our homepage um, carousels, you're seeing multiple offers at once. There's less scrolling. There's more a chance that you're going to catch that customer's eye with an offer that's relevant to them. Um, and you have the ability to order those offers in whichever way you'd like as well. So Again, just taking some of that data that's coming to us that we're seeing, how we're seeing customers interact with the site and really trying to provide tools that help you build a better strategy overall and really give your customers what they're looking for. We want them to continue to shop your, your site um, and not just get overwhelmed on the homepage and not be able to click through and then continue their shopping journey. And, and I think additionally... Oh, go ahead, Zach. And then I'll uh, additionally, like, we are also seeing some more brands and OEMs where, you know, as they're talking with the different platforms, those homepage templates that they're using are starting to do away with the sliders entirely. You know, we're, we're seeing that with Subaru on some. So, you know, at that point, without that, you know, tried and true rotator, like, how are you going to be able to kind of get people's attention? You know, so thinking of it as homepage specials rather than here's this giant image that scrolls across or just isn't there anymore because of an OEM preference. You know, it's, again, how do you pivot when those things come up? Yeah, and the one thing to add, because Bill, you had mentioned, you know, virtual showroom, right? That's what yeah. the website is. And, and how do we, you know, as creatives, how do we tell the best story? And conversations that we have with our partners a lot are it's not even that those rotators can't be real estate that is utilized properly but again with retail ready and with the carousels that, that Corinne had mentioned it's how do we maybe utilize those differently than maybe we have you know just because we've done something the same all the time doesn't mean that it's the best way so how do we make that more of a why buy message or something that's much more branded specifically to your dealership as opposed to content that could be pushed to any other site, you know, that that shares the same OEM. I think that's another thing when you think of that retail ready mindset, it's really, are we utilizing every potential digital touch point to tell the best brand story? And look, I can say this because I'm one, car buyers are selfish, all right? Someone who has to service their vehicle is selfish. So really promoting the what's in it for me, for the consumer, I think is something that's very beneficial without being able to sacrifice, again, if I'm a dealer and I know I have my core models that I need to make sure people understand what those specials are, I'm, the, I'm now able to serve three or four at once, as opposed to just the one slide, and then hope that everyone scrolls through, which again, based on heat maps and data that we're seeing, we're seeing that no one's really doing that.